What's up guys? What's going on? Welcome back. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Yak Pack Outdoors. We've got the whole family today. We've got Bella, G-Man, me, and my beautiful wife Whitney behind the camera. Say hey Whitney. Hi. Hi. Yeah. All right, so check it out guys. What we're doing today is we're going in Lowe's and this is going to be a Build-A-Lure. You guys have heard of Build-A-Bear. This is going to be a Build-A-Lure fishing challenge. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to ask an employee to help me out in picking the things that I need to create a fishing lure for $20 total. That is our budget for this build a lure fishing challenge. So with that being said, let's get in here and let's get to picking. All right guys, so we just got into Lowe's and where do you think we should start? What do you laugh at? I don't think that's... I don't think you can catch a fish using a light bulb. <laughs> Where do you think? We need a light bulb for our house, I mean, but for a fishing yeah. lure, probably not so much. Well, I don't know why you're asking me, because I don't know. I don't know either, so Obviously, let's go find a Lowe's employee to help us out. I gotta check it out. So apparently every employee in Lowe's is busy assisting people right now. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna do this myself. I'm gonna attempt to do this myself. The whole idea behind it was to have a Lowe's employee help me, but since they can't, that's okay, that's not an issue. Uh, always, always adapt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick some things out and try to build us a fishing lure. How hard do you think it's gonna be, babe? I mean, I don't think it's gonna be hard. Put some hooks on the bottom of it. That's it. Something just, that floats. Just, just something that floats with some hooks. Yeah. What do you think, G man? <laughs> uh. All right. Let's get these kids back in the buggy, and then we're gonna get to building some fishing lures. All right guys, so I'm on the aisle right now and I think I've found what I wanna use. So we've got a couple of options and I don't really know what to choose. All right, we've got this square piece of wood right here, okay? So I can definitely work with what we've got. Like as far as if it's square, circle, rectangle, anything like that, I have the tools at home to be able to build what I, what, like the idea in my head. I've got the tools to do it, but I just gotta find uh, the correct piece of whatever it is that I'm gonna use. So here, we've got a circle, like a circle piece of wood, you guys see that? So I could definitely do something with this as well. Or even this, check this out. We've got like already little pre-made things. I think these are like something that would go on like, I don't, I don't know actually what these are. I don't know where these go to, but uh, maybe like an end table or something like that. It's like screws on, maybe. All right, guys, I think I've got what I wanted. This is three quarter inch popular, popular, that's stupid. This is three quarter inch poplar wood, okay? So it is uh, about three, three and a half feet long or so. So I have room for error, which is a good thing because I'm probably gonna mess this up at least once uh, while I'm creating this, this lure. So the next step is to find out how we are gonna put hooks on this thing. All right, guys, for the hooks, what I'm thinking about doing is something along the lines of Yes, yes, perfect. This right here, these look absolutely perfect for hooks. I'm gonna need to pull some split rings off of some baits that I've already got at home, but this right here, if I can get it all the way down, if I can get that all the way down into the bait, which I think I can, uh, I think we're gonna be A-OK -okay for some hooks. So now that we've got this, let's go look at some colors that we wanna paint this bait. All right guys, next up is the paint selection. What color do you think we should paint this bait? What color? What color do you think I should paint this bait? Pink? Gray. Gray? Uh, I don't like those suggestions. Okay, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna go, we're gonna find the cheapest spray paint and we're gonna go, uh, probably, let's do black and actually, let's do white and red. We're gonna do white and red. We're gonna find cheap spray paint and we're gonna do white and red. All right, we're getting red. And we're gonna get, oh, uh, is that white? Gloss white, yep, red and white. If there was any color to be able to catch a fish, I think that is gonna be the color, that white and red. All right, so this is what we got so far. We've got our little hook keepers, we've got white and red spray paint, and we've got the wood itself. So now, what do we need? So I think that we have everything that we need that we can get here from Lowe's. So what I need you guys to do is let me know what kind of baits, what kind of ideas, what you would have done different, things you would have picked out different. Wow, this lighting is really good right here. 
let me know in the comments below right now what would you have done different what would you have used whether it had been wood or pvc or anything like that just let me know in the comments because i'm gonna continue this series i'm gonna continue making these videos and i'm excited to hear from you guys on like how you would build a bait so just let me know i'll piece that together and probably even create your idea so we're out of lows we're done we checked out the total was 1374 or 1347 or something like that so we were under our 20 dollars budget now got to take this home got to put the things on it that i bought the little screw in things got to get some split rings got to get some hooks and then we're going to start building our own lure the build a lure lowe's fishing challenge lowe's back in the background way in the back all right let's get home guys and let's start building all right guys we're back at home finally now what we're going to do is we're actually going to put this thing together we're going to create this idea that i've had in my head for a while and now i'm finally getting to execute on it so i'm actually really excited to see how this is going to turn out i've never done this in my life before so i i I don't I, I worked construction when I was 18 years old in Atlanta we'll see how it goes though let's find out if we can make this creation this idea actually happen so my, my idea my vision behind this is to take this piece of wood right here cut about five or six inches off of it and make some sort of topwater walking bait so let's get started we're gonna start with six because I feel like if I need to take some away it'll be a lot easier than trying to add to if that makes any sense for this specific project So the next step is going to be to sand both ends of this down to not be like straight up flat like that. We want them kind of rounded off. Okay, guys, we've got our uh, ends rounded off right there. I actually, so this being the front of the bait, what I did was right here on the end of it, on the bottom side of it, I, I kind of curved it up just a little bit more to try to give it some more walking action. We're going to see exactly like, in my head it seems like it would work, but... We're gonna find out on the water if this thing actually works, how I, how I think it'll work and how I want it to actually work. But we're not done yet. Next up is uh, putting the hooks on it. So right here I have what is called some, uh, so just little hooks, little screw eye hooks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open these up and this is what I'm gonna put on the little piece of wood and then put some uh, little split rings on them and then put hooks on that. So I don't know, I was gonna run two at first, but I think I'm gonna try to run three now. So one in the front, one in the middle and one in the back. Okay, and also we're gonna have to put one on the, the front end right here for, you know, being able to tie it off. Ha! It worked. It actually worked. We got the first one in there. Now we need to put two more on the actual lure itself and then one more on the top or the front, if you will, so we can actually tie it off. And here we have almost the finished product, guys. Check that out. Front, middle, back hooks something right here and the front to be able to tie our line to. So what we're gonna do now is put our little split rings on it put some hooks on it and then we're gonna paint it okay and oh guys I can't tell you how excited I am to go out and use this my creation has come to life we've got three trebles on it as you can see right here it's got a little bit of noise to it which is always a good thing and then we've got a, uh, a little split ring on the front as well so we can uh, tie our line to now I did that because I didn't know how true it, it would run uh, tying braid straight to the little like screw in thing so I was like, ah, why not? I, that's how I do my crankbaits anyway, so maybe we'll see. But I'm gonna get it painted up now. We're gonna do a white and red. It's gonna look good, guys. Let's get to painting. We got her hanging up to dry now, as you can see right there behind me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go hit the water. So with that being said, please let this work and let's get to fishing. I feel like Tom Hanks from Castaway, when he, when he made his uh, little fire, I have made fire. But in this case, top water. <laughs> Oh God, dude, God, we're hooked up. We're hooked up, guys. We're hooked up, we're hooked up. It actually worked. <laughs> it actually worked. Oh my God, it actually worked. <laughs> it actually worked. Oh my God, I got ants. Oh, I just stepped in a whole ant bed. Oh my goodness. We actually did it. We literally actually did it, guys. I'm so hyped right now. I can't freaking believe we actually did it, guys. Everything held up. Let's see, the hooks. Yeah, everything held up. Oh, yes. Let's get him back. We fell, the fish fell. All right, buddy, they, you just, I'm gonna help you out. There you go. I just fell all the way down this hill. Yes. 
I just saw a really big fish bust, so I had to try to cast at it. Like right in this area somewhere. <laughs> oh my God, dude, Colin, I put my hooked up. I'm hooked up, Colin, I'm hooked up. Oh my God, dude. On the DIY homemade lure. Don't jump, don't jump. Oh, he's, a, oh, he's diving. That's a good one. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, dude, we did it again. Oh my God. We got him on the homemade lure again, guys. How freaking awesome is that? Let's go. All right, guys, that is gonna wrap this video up. I can't believe, I can't believe we did it, guys. With the homemade $20 Lowe's Build-A-Lure Challenge. I cannot believe we actually did it. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys wanna see me do this again, drop some comments below on maybe a specific budget I could use or what kind of lures do you guys like have in mind that you would like to see me build? And I will definitely try to go make that happen. But anyways, thank you again for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Love all of you. Thank you for all, all of the support. Thanks again for watching guys. And we'll catch y'all next time.